Hello JHS 2020 seniors and class of 2020 parents and all Jacksonville community members. This is Mr. Peacock with a very, very, very important announcement and presentation about graduation at the Tomato Bowl on Tuesday, June 2nd. So let's jump right in. And one thing to remind everybody about, we are going to be putting out several videos in the next week and a half between now and June 2nd, taking everybody through the graduation process at the Tomato Bowl. Remember guys, we do not have a graduation rehearsal this year. The state's not allowing us to do that. So it's very important that all of the seniors, all of their guests, everybody at the Tomato Bowl on June 2nd knows what to do and how to do it. So a few important reminders as we get started. I call these big things to know. The first thing is, here's your time and date. So 8 p.m., Tuesday, June 2nd, at our beloved Jacksonville Fighting Indian Tomato Bowl. So a couple important things here real quick. The gates at the Tomato Bowl will open at 6 p.m. So we want all graduates and their guests to be ready to start filing into the stadium around 6 o'clock. So gates won't open until then. So hopefully, you might not want to get there too early. Could be hot. We're going to have some water for everybody for sale, but we don't want you to arrive too early and get sunburned. So make sure you get there right at 6 and we'll get you into the stadium as soon as we can. We definitely want to remind everybody, everything you're about to see the next few minutes is based on designing a safe and fun celebration for our 2020 seniors. And one of the chief things about that safety aspect of graduation is social distancing. We'll talk a lot about that in the next few minutes during this presentation. Also want to remind everybody, and you'll see it several times, we only are allowing five guests per graduate. And we'll say this several times over the next few minutes, but seniors, you must arrive at the stadium with your guests with you. So six o'clock, gates open, graduates show up with your guests and we'll be ready to go. So last thing to tell everybody, or last two things here, is the event will be live streamed on the JISD.org website. So the event will be live streamed for all those people who can't make it to the Tomato Bowl but still want to see our awesome graduates walk the stage. They'll be able to watch on the JISD website through YouTube. Finally, this is a big thing, guys. This is a, a different thing. We haven't done this ever, but because of the stringent state guidelines that have been set forth by the governor and by the Texas Education Agency, we are not allowed to have fans, crowd members come to the field after graduation. So when the ceremony is over, everybody's going to need to exit the stadium in the same entry point where they came in. So nobody's going to be allowed on the field from the stands after the ceremony. A very important thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we're going to start all this off with a, a new thing. I'm very excited about this. All of us here at JHS are excited. But one week from today, on Friday, May 29th, from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. at the JHS bus pickup area, we will be holding our senior graduation packet pickup. And it'll work a lot like some of the other things we've done the last nine or 10 weeks. It'll be a drive-through pickup. You'll drive by. You'll give us your name, Ms. Dora Smith, your, your counsel will be there. Ms. Sarah Stevens, your college and career advisor will be there. I might be there also. You'll give your name and we will hand you a brown envelope, a packet with several things in it. It's absolutely essential, seniors, that you be here on this date and time. This is mandatory if you want to participate in the June 2nd ceremony. You have to get this packet. Why? Because there are a lot of important things inside of this packet. So what are you going to get when you get that packet on Friday, May 29th? Inside that packet will be several things. You'll have six graduation programs. The official formally printed program, 
that, that, that you'll look at to follow the ceremony and the order of events on June 2nd. That'll be in there, one for our graduates and one for each of their five guests. That'll be in your brown envelope. Also, you'll have a commemorative Jacksonville High School Class of 2020 mask. And students, we expect you to wear your masks as you enter the stadium, as you leave the stadium. Once you get seated in your seat on the field and while you cross the stage, you will not have to wear your mask. When you enter and exit the stadium, we encourage you to wear your mask. And we encourage everybody uh, in the community to wear masks if they have them. We think that's a good idea for social distancing purposes. JHS and JISD officials will be wearing their masks during the ceremony. Also in that packet you pick up on May 29th is going to be an informational page that Ms. Smith is going to create with some final reminders for you about the June 2nd graduation. And then some very important things here, guys. In that packet, you will also get your row assignment. We're going to tell you exactly where you are going to sit on the field, on the tomato bowl field. And finally, these last two things. In that packet will be one help screener, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second, and you will have your five guest tickets. All of these items will be in that brown envelope on May 29th. So that graduation packet pickup a week from today is extremely important. Graduates, make sure you're there. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about the layout of the tomato bowl during graduation. What you have here is a diagram, and I don't know if you can see these, these little squares that denotes every graduate's chair at the tomato bowl. But if you look, what we are going to do is we are going to divide our graduates who are seated on the field. Let's see if I can work this pen here real quick. We're going to divide the graduates into four separate sections. And the reason we're doing this is because we want our audience members to be as close as they can to their graduates. So just to kind of orient you a little bit, down here, it's hard to kind of see this in yellow. Maybe I'll go over it in red. This is the home side. This is obviously the visitor side, okay? So we've divided our graduates into four different places. So everything you get in that packet, guys, your tickets and your medical screener is going to be color-coded based on the four colors you see here. So if your assigned seat during graduation is in the gold section, your ticket, your medical screener, everything will be in a yellowish gold color. Same thing if you're seated here, here, or here. And again, we're doing this so that your guests can be as close as they can to see you on the field. We also have our awesome Jumbotron going, so you'll be able to get close-ups of the graduates as they walk across the stage. But that's how we're designing the field. Next thing to go over here is the very important medical screener and tickets. In that packet, you will have that medical screener. You'll have your tickets. We're going to show you what all that looks like in just a second. And cannot reiterate this enough, guys. You have to have your medical screener and your tickets with you, seniors, in order to enter the tomato bowl on June 2nd. You must have the medical screener and the tickets. Everybody has to be holding those things as they enter the tomato bowl. Okay. Let's take a, look, take a look at a sample medical screener. So this medical screener is in blue, and again, this would be assigned to somebody who's sitting in the blue section. And we're gonna talk about where that looks like on the field and in the stadium here in just a second. So blue screener, several things on it. Graduates, your name will go at the top, and then the screener for each one of your guests is on that sheet of paper. Just to remind everybody, as you enter your entry, your assigned entry point on June 2nd, you will hold up this screener and the JISD nurse and other school officials will be checking that screener as you enter. You must have your tickets, you must have your medical screener in order to get in on June 2nd. So let's talk a little bit about the tickets. Remember you get five tickets in your graduation packet that you pick up on May 29th. So here's what the tickets look like. We have four flavors of tickets, and if you'll notice, 
Those four color flavors coincide with the four different sections that we assigned our graduates. So we have blue, yellow, green, and pink. Everything is going to be color coded for you for ease of instruction. So let's take an example of a blue ticket up the top. In writing English and Spanish, it tells you directly where you need to enter. This one says, please arrive with your family at the North Gate on Wilson Street. And we'll show you exactly where that is in just a second. But again, everything here is color coded. Here is the front of the ticket. So this ticket shows you right here, says blue ticket, and it gives you the exact point on the ticket where you need to arrive with your guests. So that's all on the front of the ticket. Now, let's look at the back of the ticket. So remember you have five tickets. On the back of each one are these very, very important reminders. We will be reminding you of these things throughout the ceremony on June 2nd. But we want you to get these on May 29th. Look at the back, make sure you're prepared for what these announcements are going to say. We are going to be reiterating these items multiple times throughout the evening on June 2nd. Okay, so let's talk about how you enter the tomato bowl. This is a very important thing here, guys. Seniors, make sure you're focused on this. Always, if you have questions, reach out to us and let us know. So again, this is the layout. This is how we're dividing our seniors on the field into those four sections so our folks in the stands can get as close to them as possible and see their graduates on the field. So if you are a green zone graduate, if your ticket, if your medical screener is in green, graduates, you and your family will enter on the home side north. Okay, and just to orient you on this map, this is north up here, railroad tracks. This is south down here, Dairy Queen's over here. The Norman Activity Center is over here, okay? So if your tickets and your medical screener is green, you'll enter through this gate. Okay, and we'll have signs there making this very easy as you approach the tomato bowl. If your tickets and medical screener are in pink, you'll enter home side south. So green, home side north, pink, home side south. If your tickets are blue, your ticket and your screener are blue, you will be entering on the visitor side north entrance, the Wilson Street entrance, and that's clearly denoted here on the map. So those folks would enter here and then walk across just a short distance to their seats on the visitor side. Finally, our last section, our yellow gold section, is on the visitor side south, just across the highway from Dairy Queen. So if your tickets and screeners are in yellow gold, you will make sure you go to this entrance. We are doing these separate entrances to make sure that our guests are properly socially distanced as they arrive. Important thing to remind everybody, as you get into the stands, okay, our stands will be kind of taped off. We want to keep our families at least six feet apart from other families. Now, the families themselves can be close together, but a five-member group needs to be at least six feet apart from another five-member group. So in the stadium, we'll be taped off seats, and those seat colors on that tape will coincide, you guessed it, with the ticket and medical screener color. So everything you're assigned will be in the same color. All right, so entry, again, 6 o'clock. Make sure, graduates, you bring your guests with you during the entry. Just another reminder, here is where you enter based on your color-coded ticket and color-coded medical screener. Okay. All right, let's talk about entering the tomato bowl. Yet again, here we go. Seniors, you must bring your guests with you. Five guests maximum. Seniors, make sure you're dressed in your cap and gown as you enter the stadium on June 2nd. Also, I want to remind everybody, we will have staff members, assistant principals, uh, campus and local police officers, nurses are going to be staffed at each of the four entry points, making sure medical screeners are being turned in, that the graduates are in their dress code ready to go, smiling, selling water, making sure everybody's staying cool uh, as we enter the stadium for graduation. Okay, next thing here. Once the graduates, once you walk in with your guests, 
You will walk your guests to a certain area in, on, in the stadium. You'll sit them down, and you will come to the field. Okay? Some very important things. So seniors, as you walk into the stadium, once you turn in your screener, show your tickets to the workers, you will take your seat on your designated side. Then you will come to the field, all right? You will come to the field. So where are you going to go? This is also an important time to remind everybody that handicap access is available on all of these sections, okay? Most handicap parking is available here on Wilson Street, but there is other handicap parking perhaps off Commerce Street. But no, if you, are, if you have a handicapped guest with you, we will let you in on any entrance. Just make sure you're showing the ticket to the workers at that point of entry. So we're going to take care of everybody that needs handicapped access. So once our seniors come into the stadium and they seat their guests in those color-coded taped areas, then seniors, you will need to make your way to the field. So if you are a green kid, if your ticket and medical screener are in green, see if I can get this right. You are going to enter the tomato bowl field right around here. There's a gate. There'll be a big green sign there. That's where you will enter the field right there. If your ticket and medical screener are in pink seniors, once you seat your families, you will come down and enter kind of right here by the flame and J. That's the gate you will use to get down to the field itself. All right, let's talk about blue here, blue or yellow. So there's blue, but blue here. Okay. If you have a blue ticket, your screener and your tickets are in blue, you will enter the field right here. There's a gate on the field, right, right in front of that concession area where you will seniors, there'll be a big sign in blue, you'll enter the field in that direction. And finally, our last one, if you're gold, okay, if your ticket is in gold, you will enter the stadium on the, excuse me, you'll enter the field right there. Again, these X's are where our graduates will enter the field after they seat their guests in those color-coded areas in the stands, okay? All right, so let's talk about how you're going to get your diploma. So once you're seated and once we get kick started at 8 p.m., we are going to go through the ceremony. A lot of great things expected for you guys, but at the end of the ceremony, it's the moment everybody's been waiting for. You are going to receive your diploma. So let's talk a little bit about how that's going to work. So graduates, you'll be seated based on your area here. And then your teachers, teachers are going to be walking the rows. Your teachers will be seated down here toward the home side. So when it's time to give out the diplomas, the moment everybody's been waiting for, Mr. Eden, Mr. Eden will walk over to this side and he will lift the graduates. Now, not literally. Mr. Eden's a strong guy. He's not that strong. He's not going to pick everybody up. But he'll lift the graduates. And what that means is he'll tell you guys when to stand up and to make your way to the stage. This is the stage right here. And the important thing to remember, we'll try to walk you guys through this as best we can next week with perhaps another video. But the thing to remember the thing to remember is that you will be graduating, moving across the stage in a westerly direction. So you'll get your, Mr. Eden will tell you when to get up. You'll make your way to the stage. We'll talk about pictures here in just a second. But you will be getting your diploma and you'll be walking across the stage toward the home side of the tomato bowl. So keep that in mind. All right, let's talk a little bit about pictures. As you guys know, on our new Graduation 2020 webpage, Mr. Mike Cummins, who's been taking senior pictures for a long time. Mr. Cummins is going to be taking pictures at this graduation also. There will be two photograph locations, seniors. So, so it's very important to keep this in mind. So one location will be right here. Before you enter the stage, Mr. Cummins will have you very briefly stop for a senior portrait. You'll be standing. It'll be less than five seconds per graduate. 
You'll take that portrait, you'll make your way to the stage. Once you get your diploma and you cross the stage, there'll be another picture that's taken right here. Well, you'll look over, right? The photographer will be right here and he'll snap a picture in this direction. So two photographs are gonna be taken. One before you get to the stage and one after or while you receive your diploma. So keep that in mind. Okay, seniors, let's talk about dress code. This is something I know everybody's been emailing Ms. Smith about. Very important that you follow these guidelines when it comes to dress code at graduation. So, first thing, all graduates must arrive at the Tomato Bowl in their cap and gown. Make sure it's on, make sure it's zipped up, shirt and ties on for the, the gentlemen, the girls that you're in your dresses, everybody's looking sharp, ready to rock and roll when you get to the Tomato Bowl at six. Next thing, guys, cap decoration is not allowed. Uh, we worked really, really hard to get you caps that have a big blue J on them. So if, if, if you come to the Tomato Bowl with the design on your cap, we're gonna ask you to remove that. So don't even do that. Make sure you arrive without a de decoration on your cap. Next thing, boys, big thing, make sure you have a tie that is required and mandatory for graduation. Make sure you're wearing a tie. Also, gentlemen, you must have a white button-up dress shirt to go along with that tie, and you need dress shoes or boots. Try to make sure those are as polished as they can possibly be. You wanna look nice, it's a very serious ceremony. Your family's been waiting a lifetime for this very, very important event. Girls, let's talk about your dress code real quick. Very important thing to remember for the girls. Girls, make sure your shoes are either flats or wedges. We do not need to be wearing sharp high heels on that brand new tomato bowl turf. Okay, so girls, make sure you're wearing the right shoes on graduation night. Also, dresses and skirts need to reach the top of the knee. Girls, make sure you comply with that rule. And finally, the dresses should not be strapless or have spaghetti straps. Those are the major things when it comes to dress code. Seniors, we encourage you guys to look at the flyers, look at the announcements we sent out, and check that reminder sheet you get on May 29th for further details about dress code. And if you have any questions, always email Ms. Smith or me and we'll get you those answers. Let's talk about after the ceremony. So after the ceremony, uh, after the ceremony, to reiterate again, guys, no guests are going to be allowed on the field once the ceremony is over. Graduates, make sure you leave the field once the ceremony is concluded. Okay, and as a reminder here, everybody in the stadium should exit the same way they came in. Okay, so if you were assigned green ticket and you came in in the green entrance, you need to use that same area to exit the stadium once the ceremony is over, okay? All right, last reminder about graduation pickup, May 29th, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. JHS bus pickup area, and again, guys, you must get that packet if you want to participate in the ceremony on June 2nd. Okay, guys, some final reminders. We know this video is long, but it's very important that everybody know exactly what to do since we have no graduation rehearsal. So, big reminders to close things down. Remember that packet pickup, May 29th, 2 to 5 p.m. Gates open at 6, graduation starts at 8 p.m. on June 2nd. Remember the rule about five guests allowed per senior. And finally, everything we push out, emails, school messenger phone calls, videos, please make sure you're paying attention to those seniors and our awesome senior parents, okay? Another reminder that the event will be live streamed for those guests that can't be there in person. And again here, guys, no guests allowed on the field after the ceremony. Seniors, make sure you're in dress code. If you have any questions, contact us, okay? Again, as a final reminder, you must have that completed medical screener and your tickets with you if you want to participate on June 2nd. A couple more reminders as we finish up. So first thing is, as in accordance to tomato bowl, with tomato bowl policy, no artificial noisemakers will be allowed the night of graduation. We are going to continuously encourage everybody to socially distance. We know that works. So that's the one thing we've learned in the last 10 or 11 weeks is that social distancing is effective at keeping people from getting sick. Social distancing and proper sanitation. So remember to properly social distance the night of graduation. <clears throat> so next thing, again, we've said this probably four or five times, Nobody is allowed onto the field at the end of the ceremony, okay? And remember, you will exit the tomato bowl the same way and the same place where you entered, okay? 
Here's our contact information. There's my email and phone number. There's Ms. Smith, your counselor's email and phone number. Feel free to call us or email us any questions about graduation. There is no question, parents or students, there's no question too big or too small. We are here to help. Finally, I'm excited. I know you're excited. We cannot wait to see you on June 2nd for the 2020 JHS graduation. Thanks, everybody.